Springdale Public Schools would like to thank the following sponsors. McLarty Daniel, Wycart Griffin, Sam's Furniture, the Arkansas Broadcasters Association, Tyson Foods, and Explore Springdale. <laughs> dark in here. Wait, there it is. This way, Tut. I'm talking. I can't see a thing. This place is scary in the dark. Your basement is scary in the dark too, Tut. Come on. You've got to see what we found yesterday. I'm telling you. It must have been the greatest archaeological discovery yet. But why do we have to look for it in the dark? Because it's spookier this way. This is a show, you know. Whoa! Whoa. What is it, Ducky? It's bones, Tut. Bones! And according to my best carbon dating, they're more than three million years old! Wow, over three million years old? That has to be one of the oldest skeletons ever found. Can I touch it? Well, I don't know if that's a very good idea. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Hello, kids! My name's Lucy. What's yours? Ah! Kinda jumpy, aren't you guys? What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen a real fossil before? Ah! Good grief. Look, I've been lying around here for three million years. I've got calcium deposits older than the two of you combined. Can't we just be friends? But you're a skeleton. Boy, we've got a smart one here. Is that your final answer, or do you want to use a lifeline? <laughs> Skeletons can't talk, can they? Just wait till I decide to sing, buddy. You ain't heard nothing yet. Wow. In a way, us folks can talk. You can, by studying us, you can tell a whole lot about things that happened in the world a long time ago. You're right. By studying fossils, we can learn where we came from, where we are, and where we are going. Now you're talking. Come on. Let my friends and me show a little of what has happened in the world since I lay down here so long, long ago. If you really want to know, pay attention to our show. When you do, we think you'll see, you can learn from history. We can look at Greece or Rome, and the folks who called it home. When you get the right turn, there is just so much to learn from Hong Kong. Gee, it happened long ago.
Wow, Lucy, those are some interesting friends you have there. Who are those people over there, Lucy? Oh, those are the Sumerians from the land of Mesopotamia. What you're looking at there is pretty typical for 3000 BC. That guy is the famous Gilgamesh. People, people, work with me now. We've got to work together. Who died to make your king? I heard that. Now look, we've got, we have. I know you're all used to working independently, but if we work together, we might will be able to survive here and maybe even create one of the first great civilizations. Gilgamesh is right, everybody. Gilgamesh is right, everybody. If we work together, then we can make sure that nobody messes with Mesopotamia. Well put, Enkidu, my valiant friend and servant. Thank you, sir. Now look, we've got rivers on both sides of the plain. Now what are they called? Rivers! I know that, but what are the names of the rivers? Tigris and Euphrates. There we go. They've allowed the production of farm goods to go way up. So what's the problem? The problem is, sir, that we need a more efficient way to transport these goods to the market. Right you are, Enkidu. Well, who's got a suggestion? Well, sir, if I might suggest, I've been working on a small round invention that I think might have great possibilities. Hmm, I can't see it myself, but, but let's go ahead and give it a try. Now, what's next? Well, sir, I've been working on a system of currency that I think might help us keep track of what we trade and what we do. A capital idea. Write it down. Write it down. Write it down, sir? Figure it out, Enkidu. I can't do everything. I'm so proud of you all. At this rate, we'll be able to build a civilization that lasts thousands of years right here in between our own two beautiful rivers. seeds we'll sow are bringing the people together.
who do we get to see next, Lucy? Well, here comes King Zoser of Egypt and his trusted servant, Emotep. Wow, they look pretty good considered the 4,000 years ago. King Zoser, grain is scarce. The fruit is all dried up. My fruit is all completely dried up. <laughs> People are so desperate they're robbing their neighbors. What are we going to do? Build me a pyramid. Oh. But first, I must learn the name of the god of the Nile. Then, we can offer sacrifices to that god and she will help us. Everybody, go to sleep at once. That's K-H-N-U-M. The H is silent. I know the River Nile. When it covers the fields, it gives them life. Now the Nile will pour over the land without stopping. Plants will grow bowing down with fruit. The years of starvation will be over. Thank you and good night. My, my fellow Egyptians, I have had a marvelous but rather brief trip. The name of the god of the Nile is Kanu. That's K H. Oh, never mind. The, year, the years of hunger are over. Now we can start the great Egyptian civilization that people will talk about for generations to come. So we will start by building a giant pyramid for my tomb. Ready for the afterlife. I'd like to take some guards along and my his wife. Now I'll have to have food, but I won't need a car. Put my drinks in an urn and my organs in a jar. Egypt dominated the entire earth for like 3,000 years. Well, not the entire earth, Ducky, but they really were an amazing civilization. We are the lords of the ancient Greece. We have to act together so we practice for weeks. Listen very carefully for when we speak, we will tell you all the wonders of the ancient Greece. 
No, no, that will never do. No one will believe you if you don't give it more emotion. Now, please, one more time with feeling. We are the words of the ancient Greeks. We have to act together so we practice for a race. Listen very carefully for when we speak, we will tell you of the wonders of the ancient Greeks. How's it going, Toph? Please, is the play almost finished? Terrible, it's just terrible. The play fits for the and is less than a week away. I can't get his course to work for anything. Anyway, what's the new play about? It's supposed to be all about the wonderful thing to Greece that'll be a thousand years after we're all gone, but I can't seem to come up with the right name to tie it all together. How about the Odyssey? No, no, Homer beat me to it. How about Greece the Musical? It will never fly. How about Greece is the Word? Wait, I got it! Grease is the word! Glad you thought of it. had such a long lasting effect on the world. This is just great, Lucy. No bones about it. You really know her stuff. Get it? No bones about it? Huh? Get it? <sighs> I get it, kid. You're right, Taki. Greece did have a huge impact on the world, as did the ancient Romans. Oh, I remember. Weren't the Romans the first to try a rural republic? Not to mention expand, expanding to one of the world's most 
powerful empire that's ever existed. Why? You can still see signs of ancient Rome as far as Morocco, Iraq, and even England. Wow! Wow is right. And legend says it all started with twin brothers and their dream to build a city. No, Ron! I'm telling you, I had a dream, and in this dream I saw six vultures flying over the exact spot where we should build the city. I too had a dream, Remus, where 12 vultures were flying over the spot where it would be that wolf. 12 is a bigger omen than 6. That's where we should build the city. 6 is an omen that I chose the right spot. 12 is a bigger omen. 6, 12, 6, 12. I'm telling Mom. Mom's a wolf. She doesn't care. Hey, Romans, how's the city coming along? I heard you're having some problems with the aqueducts. You guys know Rome can't be built in a day, you know. No need to be snoopy, Romulus. I just hope it's ready for Susan's big bash on Saturday night. Oh, rats, I have nothing to wear. Relax, the dress is a toga, so you're all set. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Enough for one day, guys. These old bones are aching and need an arrest. This has been such an amazing adventure, Lucy. I feel like we've learned so much. No kidding, my brain can't hold another thing. The great thing about studying the past is that you can tell a whole lot about things that happened in the world a long time ago. Doesn't that make you feel very small and insignificant, Lucy? Not at all, Taki. It makes me feel a part of something bigger than myself. It makes me realize that anything anybody ever did before me changed the world for me. So that means that anything we do will change the world for those who follow us. We matter. We all matter. Thanks for coming to 
our show Now we really have to go But we think you must agree You can learn from history Take a look at Greece or Rome And the folks who called it home When you give your brain a turn There is just so much to learn from long ago